I'm Father Nolasco, a Spiritan from Tanzania. I was ordained in 2006 and immediately after my ordination I was sent to the University of Dar es Salaam to take my postgraduate diploma in education and I work in uh, USA Seminary as a rector for six years before I was sent to work in South Sudan. I was sent to work in South Sudan in 2012. And all along this time, our, my area of work is, first of all, first evangelization of where we are dealing with the vulnerable people, spread the word of God for those who have never heard it or scarcely heard of it. This is our charism as the Spiritans. So another area is education. We also impart quality education for the children in order to be able to, uh, to lift up, to lift the, heart, the lives of the people, the vulnerable people, the marginalized, the voiceless, at least to be able to speak. And this also has taken most of our time trying also to make sure that these people will get to food and our, our aim, our goal is to make sure that these people are also that the part of the community in the sense that they are not left they are not you know you know at least also they have that happiness of feeling being considered and accepted in the society today because others we cannot be able to visit them because of both security and also the road we cannot be able to reach them so only these very few at least they can represent our work we are doing here to serve people especially to give them food at least time when there is there is hunger We are helping Baker and we continue helping him because also he's our friend. Eh? Such kind of friend, and also our friends, we keep helping them. So, hey, so I'm not mm. How old is he, Mama? How old is he? Okay, six years. So, Baker is six years, he has been like this, but since we've been helping him, it's three years now. 
We are in one of the vulnerable houses of the middle of people and this old man used to stay in this house. We have been giving him food for almost three years and we come and find this man in this house. So what we requested is the people of Goodwill to remove this man from this house. He was left in this house because they thought that he's going to die. So when he dies, then the hyenas will come and eat him. But actually this man has been surviving under the mercy of the good people of giving food, especially Mission Kara. So uh, last year it was worse when we came and again to look for this man. So that's why we really say no, it is enough for him to continue being here. It is better we can transport him somewhere else. That's why we have a good house where he is now living and uh, you know it was really very difficult the way you come and enter inside for two years coming here last year the hunger was too much That's, there was nothing because of the flood in this area and also insecure people ran away he was just left here alone that he still needs a bed and a mattress and a blanket and also clothes for covering you know himself is naked and also food of which we have now get and also treatment this is what we are asking for the good people and the donors to help us we shall help this man at least to have a good place to live in another one is a, a polio victim just smiling hmm? only smiling hmm? when he see us just going there in the he thank mission kara in a special way they have been supporting our mission both in education and in, the, in supporting the vulnerable and also including the sustainable agriculture that we also it is also on the way we continue thanking them and we also ask other donors to continue supporting us so as may reach as many people as we can that is our goal to make sure that everybody leave is lives with a, a life of hope you know and uh, fight against hunger and uh, all those kind of things thank you very much